Hello everyone, how are you? Today we are doing an updated version of the tram route from Edinburgh Airport through the entire route, every stop, to New Haven. Now here we are at Edinburgh Airport. I just want to show you where you kind of come out. Well, the departures and, and exit is just there. It's almost like there's a big Edinburgh sign. That's the doors you come straight across and you can't miss the trams. Here it is. So we're going to do everything. We're going to buy a ticket, we're going to get on the tram and we're going to go every single um, stop to the very end. Starting off with this. This is the ticket booth. Where you can buy a ticket right here. I'm sure there's places in the airport maybe as well where you can buy but this one's right here. So we'll use this. It's a touch screen. Tram single and return tickets or tram and bus tay tickets because you can get a ticket it's a hop on hop, hop off for the trams and the buses. I only need a single ticket. Tram single ticket you can see here I am right here. Every single oops let's go back. Every single stop. Uh, that's the way it goes. All the way to New Haven. So this journey now takes just under an hour to go every single stop. It's very easy to use. You just pick the stop you want to go to. So obviously I'm going to the very last one. So I'm going to pick New Haven. And then you can pick what you want. So an adult um, ticket, just a single ticket is £7.50. Child single journey is £3.80. It doesn't say what class is a child, what age class is a child. And I can't see it very obvious. Uh, open return, so that means, you know, if you're here for a week, if you're here for two weeks, three weeks, then that ticket will still be your return. £9.50 for an open return, or £5 for a child open return. Obviously, I just need one ticket, journey, uh, I'm going to confirm that, and then you can pay via card or contactless. So let's pay for that right now. And there we go, one ticket, I look single from Edinburgh Airport. Okay, first stop we come to is Ingolston Park and Ride. Exactly what it says in the tin, it's a car park where you can leave your car, pay for parking and get the tram straight into the airport or, you know, vice versa. This is Ingolston Park and Ride. Okay, the second stop now is Gogoburn, which really is only used for people who are working at the Royal Bank of Scotland. Next on our journey, we have Edinburgh Gateway. Now, this tram stop actually has a train station, and you can get the train from here to Dundee, Perth, Glenrothes. So handy if you're heading in those directions straight off the plane. Next up, we have Guile Centre, which is a shopping centre, essentially a mall with a food court. Next on our journey, we have Edinburgh Park Centre. Now, this is really the main tram stop for the middle of Edinburgh Park Business Centre. So, it's all mostly businesses with their head offices and things like that. Okay, next up is Edinburgh Park Station. Not to be confused with the previous Edinburgh Park Central. Now, from here, again, you can get a train. You can get a train straight into Waverley Station. Or you can go to Dunblane or to other places in Scotland as well. Next up is Bankhead. Now this one is only a five minute walk away from Edinburgh College and Edinburgh Napier University. So if you're a student, this one's going to be handy. Next we have the tram stop at Sockton. Now this mostly just gives you access to residential areas. Okay, next we come to Ball Green. Now this again is mostly a residential, but it does give you access to the waters of Leith as well, if you fancy a little walk. The 
next one is one of my favourite stops. It is Murrayfield Stadium, the home of Scottish rugby. So let's just sit back, relax and enjoy the beauty that is Murrayfield Stadium. Okay, now we hit the centre of town, or at least the start of the centre of town, with Haymarket Station. Now this is a train and tram stop, so you could get the train to various places around Scotland from here. You'll also notice that this is where the tram stops being on its own and starts to be on the main thoroughfare of traffic with cars as well. The next stop is West End, which is in the heart of the West End of the central Edinburgh area. So this started to get a little bit annoying because the tram stops tended to be on the opposite side of the tram for me. But this gives you access to Shanwick Place and loads of nice restaurants and delis and cafes and things like that. Okay, now we're properly in the heart of Edinburgh with the Princess Street stop. This is halfway along Princess Street and is the only stop on Princess Street, which does kind of surprise me. But obviously it gives you access to right into the centre of town, Edinburgh Castle, Royal Mile, Waverley train station, this is kind of where you want to be getting off. As we come off Princess Street, the next stop is St Andrew's Square. Truthfully, this is probably closer to Waverley train station than the one on Princess Street. You can get to George Street from here, you can get to Harvey Nichols if you want, and it's also only five minutes walk to the new St James Quarter shopping centre. Okay, the next one is Picardy Place. Now, there's a lot round about this. You've got Edinburgh Playhouse, you've got the Omni Centre, you've got the back end of St James Quarter, and you can also get to Calton Hill from here. So there's a lot of access to various things if you're getting off at this stop. Okay, and we're finally on to Leith Walk, and our first stop being at McDonald Road. Now, this is the closest stop to London Road. And obviously you've got access to loads of restaurants and pubs and the iconic Leith Walk. This stop is maybe just under one third of the way down the walk. Continuing down Leith Walk, we now hit Balfour Street, which is about two thirds of the way down. And again, you hit plenty of pubs, restaurants, cafes, anything you want, you can find on Leith Walk. Now we've reached the bottom of Leith Walk and we've hit the foot of the walk tram stop. Now this is... Again, located to plenty of shops and cafes and pubs and things, and you're only about a 10 minute walk from Leith Links. After Leith Walk, we hit the Shore tram stop. Now, this is right beside Rabbi Burns' statue, and the Shore tram stop has got loads of fantastic cafes and restaurants again. Lots of little local retailers, and of course, it's right by the waters of Leith, where there are plenty of beautiful restaurants overlooking the waters. This is us on the home street now with the Port of Leith tram stop. This one actually mostly serves a residential area just at the bottom end of Leith. And now our second to last stop, which is the Ocean Terminal tram stop. Now this gives you the Royal Yacht Britannia, which is located just behind that, and also the new Port of Leith Distillery. And then finally, the end of the line at New Haven. Now hopefully this has helped you plan your trip, but if you do need any more help, if you go to edinburghtrams.com, they have a great layout of the journey on top of a map, which should hopefully help you out as well. And there you have it, kinda. I'm sorry that I was kind of sitting on the wrong side of the tram for some of the stops later on. 
the tram was was packed and I couldn't go over the other side so uh, I will still obviously mark well you will see I've obviously marked where all the stops are and little bits of information the whole journey took about 55 minutes um, and yeah it's a nice quick way through the city the trams are very popular now especially with people from the airport they're getting busier and busier all the time since this new extension it has helped a lot of people this side of the town get up as well I've got a friend who says it's completely changed his commute to work it is a nice easy way um, sometimes it can get stopped by traffic but for the most part it's very useful obviously I've shown you how to get tickets and machines as well hopefully that'll help you out um, if you have any questions or anything or if you want me to do something else on the trams please let me know if you've enjoyed that leave a like leave a comment share if you think it'll help anyone and of course subscribe but till next time and I'm trying not to get run over <laughs> bye humans <laughs>